So guys, Kumar Gupta from Isha Training Solutions. So uh, now I'm going to show you a video. I mean, show you something, okay, which I've just realized, okay. So using a hair file, okay, hair file, you can create, you can create a load runner script or a VUGEN script, okay. I mean, how can you create a hair file from HTTP Watch or Developer Tools? So just realized, so I thought, you know, I'll quickly share this with you. So, <clears throat> so as you can see here, okay, so let me uh, use any sample application, okay. So now you see, uh, you make sure it's log is preserved, okay. So you have login, so all the embedded resources for the launch has captured, click on sign in, okay. Now the request has become more 26, login, okay, 44 request and then sign out. So <clears throat> you have captured the script for all these four transactions which is launch, click on login and logging in and logging out, okay. Now you save all this as a hair file, you should right click on this one and you say save all as hair with content, okay, then give a name to it, yeah, JPEG store login, save it on the desktop. Okay, and once you have saved it on the desktop, okay, uh, once you have saved it on the desktop, now you can convert this to a Vuegen script. So how do we do it? Open the Vuegen, okay, just drag and drop it, just drag and drop it. Automatically you see a JPEG store with the same file name, a new script will be created and all the script will be uh, put into the action called action. It will take a little bit of time to process this guys so it has to analyze the traffic and it has to figure out then it will go ahead and create the script so i'm not quite sure how many people would do that and how robust the script is and whether it's completely going to capture uh, capture all the transactions well i haven't done much research into it but you know i thought you know uh, i mean yeah it looks like you know you're, you're able to launch log in and then log out so I mean it looks good to me so yeah so this is how you can do it as well uh, you can create the scripts in case you know uh, the direct recording is not working you can give it a shot like this to see you know uh, if robust scripts gets created you know and then all the transactions get captured okay so that's about it guys so that's what this video is about so in the next video we'll talk more about the jmeter